Ethiopia is building Africa's first huge dam on the Nile River. Today we will see the facts about the dam. Stay together. In today's video we will see the facts about the Great Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. Before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to receive beautiful videos about projects. If you have any ideas for the videos I make, leave a comment. Ethiopia is a large and historic country in East Africa. She has been challenged by various problems due to administrative problems and the fact that most of her people do not get education. However, the creator of the country is the one who gave her all the blessings that she created. One of its resources is water. Now she is trying to generate electricity with the help of water. More than half of the country's population does not have access to electricity. She is building different dams to change this number. There are about 14 dams that have been built before. Among those that are being built now, Koisha and Renaissance Dam are mentioned. Today we will talk about the Great Dam. The Great Renaissance Dam is built on the Nile River and it is the longest river in the world with a length of 6,650 kilometers. The Nile crosses about 10 countries. The river is known as the Black and White Nile, and the Black Nile originates from Ethiopia. Ethiopia contributes 80% of the river. Ethiopia has started a big dam on this river and it is expected to be completed in the next two years. The dam will be built in the western part of the country, 700 kilometers away from the capital Addis Ababa. It is 20 to 30 kilometers away from the border of Sudan. The foundation stone was laid in March 2003, according to the Ethiopian calendar, by Meles Zenawi, the former prime minister of Ethiopia. The dam was supposed to be completed in five years. It was reserved for 4.5 billion US dollars. According to the revised design, the dam has 13 turbines, two turbines generate 375 megawatts and the remaining 11 turbines can generate 400 megawatts each. At present, one turbine is giving 375 megawatts. The water saturation has reached the third round. When March comes, it will be 12 years since the dam was started. When the dam is completed, you will have a height of 640 meters above sea level, and the sides will reach 1.78 meters, and the height from the ground will be 145 meters. It has a second dam so that the water of the dam does not flow in another direction. This dam is 50 meters high and 5.2 kilometers long. The length of the backwater reaches 245 kilometers. The maximum depth will be 140 meters. The water expected to cover will be 724 square meters. It contains twice the water of Tana, the largest lake in the country. There are about 70 islands in it. Ethiopia is expected to build a new city near the dam. After generating power, the water will flow completely to Sudan, saving it from the risk of floods and sedimentation. When the dam is completed, it will be one of the largest dams in the world. We talked a little about the Renaissance Dam that Ethiopia is building. If you like today's video, please like and share it. If you have any thoughts on the video, write a comment. See you next in another video. Good time.